Welcome back to the All Excess Video Blogs. I'm Ryan Roxy, and we are sitting here with yet another amazing 2014 model Gibson, Les Paul, traditional. This is the traditional, my friends. This is quite possibly, it's not really that heavy as I remember as I grew up in the 70s, uh, sort of Les Pauls, but it definitely has some girth to it. And that's because there's no weight relief on this traditional model. And there's different types of weight relief. If you want to go into Gibson.com, they explain the modern weight relief, the traditional. This actually has none, no weight relief. And uh, it has all, honestly no, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> every once in a while I get tongue tied, but that's okay. <laughs> um, no, let's keep going. No, I say let's keep going. <laughs> Who cares? It's a video blog. What are we going to get all excited about? No, I'm excited about the guitar. That's why I get tongue tied. So today, not are we just talking about this Les Paul traditional. We're talking about song structure and overdubs. Now, last week we went over the song structure of Schools Out. So you should know all your different parts of that. But now, this week, I'm talking about some overdub parts that you can play namely over the chorus tag. So you have your chorus playing. School's out for the summer. You're doing your licks. Your little licks in there. Now the part is. Now I can't play both guitars at the same part, both parts. That's why it's called an overdub. And it's basically, the overdub is your third finger on the eighth fret starting on the second string and just bend it up bend it up a whole note and then the other overdub part is over the C to D chords and that's basically very simple and let's just repeat that and then, like I said, at the very end of this blog, I will go over the backing track so you'll see what I'm talking about. So those are the only two riffs or overdub parts you need to learn. Now, the, this 50 style neck of this Gibson traditional makes it very easy for me to do that vibrato technique. But if you need some clarification on what a 50 style neck is, go on to Gibson.com and they'll explain it rather well, but I just kind of like to call it like a big old baseball bat feeling. It's not slim tapered, it's a 50 style, nice and thick. Now that second lick is... That should be rather easy for you at this point because you're starting to notice certain patterns that I taught you in previous weeks with the pentatonic scale. Okay, so... It should, sound, it should all be sounding pretty thick and pretty full when you do overdubs. Uh, part of that, due to these humbucker pickups, these are 59 Tribute pickups. They're uh, a new pickup that they have, and they sound really great. There's no push-pull because, like I said, traditional Les Paul, we keep it traditional. And this uh, Heritage Cherry Sunburst, can't go wrong with that. All my favorite guitar players have cherry bursts. Wait a second, I play a cherry burst. What's up with that? <laughs> so, in this week, uh, let's go on out with the backing track, and we'll take it from the chorus, if, you, if we can, and I'll play those overdub parts. And we'll take it from the chorus, and then the chorus tag, all the way up to the solo. Okay, so we'll take it from the chorus. I'll do my licks in between over there and take that chorus tag and teach these new overdub licks. We ready to do it? Let's try it. Second overdone. No more 
solo will be in your E pentatonic formation way up here. So hope you've enjoyed this basically non-traditional video blog. We've had some <laughs> wacky stuff happen in it, but it's been a nice one. And uh, good luck with your overdubs. See you next time.